Hey, what's going on team? It's Ricky with Tactical Solutions. Here is a quick stock market update. I hope that you learned something new and consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing. Friendly reminder, tomorrow we will be live streaming the FOMC meeting, which will be reporting the interest rate hike, and that's going to be at 2 p.m. on my YouTube channel. This is Eastern time. For those that are in Arizona like myself, that's at 11 a.m. East, uh, 11 a.m. Mountain Standard Time. And again, that is going to be tomorrow, September 21st. With that being said, I thought I would take this time and talk about previous interest rate hikes and why I think that a full basis point is not out of the question. I don't know if you guys were aware of this, but you know, we raised interest rates in March and May and June and July, but we didn't raise interest rates in August. So we went a full month without raising interest rates. Now we have uh, September coming through. And because of our previous CPI data report, the market began to sell off. People thought that we saw inflation peak, especially core inflation or core CPI. Uh, but that was definitely not the case based off of our last CPI data report. And a lot of people are talking about like, no, that we're only going to, going to do a three quarters of a percent interest rate hike. But based off of the Federal Reserve and Jerome Powell and what they said is their intention is to front load interest rates like never before, right? They're not only going to reduce their balance sheet, but also make sure that they front load and head on, you know, fight inflation. And this is why even he said during one of his speeches that a full basis point is not out of the question. And just knowing what was reported for the month of August, that was reported in September for the CPI data report. Core CPI went from 5.9% to now 6.3%. Again, the Federal Reserve can only influence core CPI. Overall CPI includes food and energy. And that's something that the Federal Reserve knows that they can't influence since they can't influence the overall supply or price of that. But they could influence core CPI. And if you take um, into consideration what they've already done, they did a three quarters of a basis point interest rate hike in July, a three quarters of a basis point interest rate hike in June. And this is why I think that it's not out of the question. Now, it doesn't matter what I think. We can all have our opinions, but if you go in an entire month as we did for the month of August, not raising interest rates, and then in the report that's released in September shows that core CPI is actually rising once again, how do you think they're going to react? Do you think they're going to do what they've been doing in the past before with the 0.75%? Or do you think that, like they've been saying, they're going to be more aggressive and tackle inflation head on and go for the full basis point? Now, you have to understand the reason that the market sold off is after that CPI data report, it showed that core CPI has not peaked. This means that the Federal Reserve can take a more aggressive approach. And this is why the market began to sell off. This is factoring in, and you can look at the overall statistics right now. As of tomorrow, what, they, what the market expects is a three quarters of a basis point, so 0.75%. But because of you know no interest rate hike in the month of August, and because we've already done two of these, but core CPI is still rising, I personally think that a full basis point is not out of the question. And if the market were to react to a full basis point, if you thought it was a bloody Tuesday last week after the CPI data report when the NASDAQ market lost 5%, I mean, we haven't seen a full basis point interest rate hike in quite some time. So I think it's gonna be very interesting to see how the market reacts regardless of what is actually reported. So um, again, just wanted to make sure that you guys were aware. Again, I found all of this. You guys can uh, find previous interest rate hikes uh, that the Federal Reserve you know, has performed not only in 2022, but as well as for 2020, 2019, and also 2015 to 2018. I think it's interesting to see when these interest rate hikes took place. So an example, if we go back to the one uh, that was in July of 2022, 20, uh, right? So July 27th, we can try to see how the market reacted. So if we can go back to July 27th, we can go right on over here and see that in the month of July, when they announced this interest rate hike. So the CPI data report should have been a couple of days prior, and then they had that interest rate hike. It looks like the market began to rally, right? Great. But if you go to the month of June, I believe it's June 16th, yeah. So June 16th, taking a closer look, we could see that the market actually sold off on June 16th, found a support, and then began to recover. So 
what I take from this is, I mean, we all agree that the market is oversold. And I think this is the most important thing is especially for our long-term investors, you should never make impulsive decisions regardless of which way the markets can shift. Obviously, if you wanna reduce your position size because you don't think that you can tolerate a pullback in case of worst case scenario, then I respect that. But to sell your entire position and or change your entire investment plan because of a one day influence that it might have on the market, I find to be very naive. We all understand that the markets are still very oversold and yes, things can get worse before they get better. But again, our job is not to be perfect. Our job is just to get in at good prices and hold throughout the time that it will take for the market to recover. And we all know that eventually the market does end up recovering. So again, I'm very excited to host that live stream on my YouTube channel. If you guys want to partake in that, again, I'm going to be hosting a free live session and that's going to be tomorrow at 2 p.m. Eastern time. All you literally need to do is drop a thumbs up, subscribe to this channel and make sure you turn on your post notifications so you get alerted when it is that I go live. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, feel free to send me a direct message via Discord. That's that first link down below. If you want to watch me trade live as soon as tomorrow, that's that second link down below. And if you want to follow me and message me on Instagram, then that's that third link down below. I really do appreciate you guys' time. I am using the Weeble trading platform and that's the fifth link in the description if you want to earn 12 free stocks just by depositing $1. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take it easy, team.